guess what guys I've come to the realization that's virtually impossible to be an older man and be a loner your whole life without well, take a walk in my shoes guys think about how it would feel to go through your whole life I'm talking about your whole fucking life through grade school middle school high school college and beyond never having a girlfriend never hugging a girl never French kissing a girl never getting a blowjob never eating out a female never sucking on a woman's tits never um, caressing or going to the park holding hands really I mean think about it never getting massages or cuddling think about how difficult especially as you get older like in my case I'll be 40 years old think about it guys just reflect on that take a walk in my shoes knowing you have a disability you went to special schools and not knowing what your disability is knowing you're shunned by society you, you, you know you're an outcast you don't have a social life you have no one you could kick it or hang out with you have no one you could call up and do things with even if it was a guy for crying the fuck out loud think about it take a walk in my shoes guys yeah I'm um, um, comp comp um, confident to work yes I'm able to work but work isn't life work isn't all there is to life I mean you know that old saying all work and no play can make Johnny uh, you know a boring whatever um, a, a something boy do you guys hear what I'm trying to convey do you guys realize how hard it is all your life to be ridiculed and I know you guys are probably thinking and saying, well, I enjoy it. it. It turns me on. Yeah, and it does turn me on because when females do degrade me because I feel like I'm hopeless, like I'm, um, like, like I feel like I'm a lost cause, like I have no chance. I'm a hopeless romantic. I have no chance to date or be or even get married. I've never been married. I have no kids. I'm saying the most I'll ever be is an uncle. Think about it in my life. I had crooked teeth. I was bullied beyond you can even imagine how I was bullied when I was growing up as a kid in the 80s. My teeth, my canines were way up in my gums. I wore braces for five years. I had to go to occupational therapy for, I didn't know why I had to go. Apparently they said my IQ was too low to function and with regular kids. All my classes growing up in high school were modified. I had to take pre-algebra like over three times over. I mean, I'm a, I was a slow learner apparently. You guys might think I sound smart well I have no social life I am socially awkward I think maybe it's autism I don't know <clears throat> and if in case you're wondering why I did my past videos the way I did them acting goofy and silly uh, putting on a show just trying to be someone I'm not is because I want to gain attention I'm trying to I'm seeking attention I don't write journals I don't journalize I don't write journals anymore I, I use YouTube as my journal I mean, I've, I said this once years ago, and drinking takes the edge off a little bit, you know? I mean, I go two, three days without it, then I go back to it in the evening, even though, you know, I know I have a responsibility, I have to work, and I'm maintaining, holding down my job. You know, I got an honest job, which is always a good thing, you know? I mean, hell, I mean, talk about being through the mills, guys. I mean, my health ain't even that great. I mean, I just wing it day to day, you know? I mean... There are times, I mean, you know, when I think about, you know, being healthy and, you know, shit, and then other times I don't really give a fuck. I just do what I feel like. I just eat what I, whatever the fuck I want, even though my blood pressure is high. By the way, this shit is nasty as fuck. I'm... Damn. I got a pop tart here. Look at that. Frosties. Look at that. Some little sprinkles that are really adorable. In front of this looks like that. So I'm going to double bite it. Cherry pop tart. Honestly, I'm done with my food reviews. 
who am I to who am I to um put a rating on food? Who am I? I don't have any credentials. I don't have any expertise under my belt. I'm just a plain old guy with kinky kinky fetishes because I'm I've been deprived my whole life. Can you blame me? I'm a Scorpio for crying out loud for for Pete's sake. I missed out on romance and having a woman in human contact. For, can you blame me? Let me tell you guys something. It's the hardest thing in the world to go through life alone as a male that craves females. It's tough as fuck, especially being surrounded in a community, in a city filled with females that potentially could be single. And it's depressing. It hurts. It's irritating. It's enraging. It's sad. It's depressing. It's, it bubbles. It just bubbles your anger up. It's... It, pisses you off and makes you not want to care anymore. It makes you want to give up. You know, I'm trying to speak my mind, guys. That's way better. Ah, damn. A lot better than the other one. The only good thing about this is it's 8%. I'm just here fed up, fed up, really fed up. That's the summary of my life, basically. It's just, I'm in a funk. Just, I've been in a funk for fucking years. I mean, what gives? Can it get, I mean, yeah, it could get worse, but... There's got to be a better way, guys. There's got to be a better way. Then you guys sit back and say, well, I'll do the wrong shit, you know? I eat, I'm a glutton, I drink. Well, can you blame me? I mean, hell, I've, I have nothing to look forward to. These are tasty, by the way. Cherry Palm Pop-Tarts. Very good flavor, but, you know, I really don't have anything to look forward to except food, basically, and music sometimes. Of course, you know, beer, I know beer drags, you know, it's like, you know, everybody says beer is a depressant. Alcohol, but there's a reason why they store sell it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be legal. There's a reason. There's a reason why people, they're saying people are going to get rich off um, buying or uh, putting money into marijuana, you know, because it's going to, the business is going to boom apparently Fuck. really this is early me speaking a lot of what's vented up in me I'm basically talking about but there's other things I'm keeping to myself that's private that's off limits but mostly I'm talking about things that are general and just basic things off the surface it's just I grew up you know I mean I grew up Jewish and I mean there's a lot to this story it's not just a simple and easy as you think it's very deep to say the least um, that's an understatement but <coughs> I'm just really I'm kind of PO ticked off I'm perturbed about a lot of things I'm grateful for my taste I have great taste in about movies and music and especially like food but I but my, but my taste seems to heighten a little bit as my alert awareness heightens a little bit as I drink a little it's weird but thank you for watching I don't want to carry this into you know too long of a video here I plan on uploading it now um, based on my comments and whatever the um, results and the feedback, I'm either going to keep it or I'm going to delete it. That's the bottom line, you know, case closed. Do um, you guys know what to do? Thankfully, I have more beer stocked away. I'm going to go ahead and presume with my evening, I guess, and try to make the most of it, I guess, even though, you know, work is ahead of me. Work, you know, work, work be the best you can be do all you can do make money bring in the money hell without money I wouldn't be holding this right now without money I wouldn't be I wouldn't have been munching on that pop tart without money think about it but maybe you guys do think I have a delays and a disability and I can't 
be a member of society, a contributing member or a successful member. Maybe I'm just not fit for society. Maybe I'm not meant to be a blue collar, or I'm sorry, white collar. Maybe I'm not meant to be um, a hipster or a hippie or a, y a yuppie or I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. It is what the fuck it is. Later, guys.